I am Scented Fawn, a traveler of the fragrance space time. Today, I invite you to this delicious edible gourmet journey, during which some precious hosts from known and not so known fairy tales will introduce us to some of my most interesting baked goods gourmet perfumes, which is one of my favorite type of gourmands. It's not an easy sensation to achieve perfume-wise, but I really love it when perfumes manage to smell like you have just entered a bakery or a confectionery store. And I hope that you do too. Enter my flavorful, delicious carriage. And of course, enjoy. Hansel and Gretel from the dark fairy tale of the Grimm Brothers are our first hosts in this gourmand edible journey of baked good gourmands. They will introduce us to four delicious perfumes that I absolutely adore. As you remember, in this fairy tale, these two little kids were abandoned by their father and stepmother in the forest due to reasons of wretchedness. The kids that had overheard the plan of their parents thought of leaving bread crumbles on their path so that they could find their way back home. But sadly, the birds of the forest could not resist those delicious treats and ate them. And Hansel and Gretel end up being lost in the forest. For the start, a perfume that brings us the scent of bread in the most unique way. Fior di Pane by Profumo di Firenze is our first fragrance in this baked good gourmand list. Let me begin by telling you how unique this fragrance is. From the beginning you cannot exactly pinpoint what you get with this fragrance. There is a distinct kind of woody and powdery quality which is very reminiscent of the hard crust part of a freshly baked bread. And at the same time there is this this ethereal floral accord, really an iris scent with its earthy, bold carrot sensation and a violet quality which makes it very dewy and diaphanous. As you see, its name is very spot on since Fior di Pane means flower of bread or flower made of bread. So this perfume shifts and turns from a very realistic edible sensation to a more earthy, aromatic and woody blend. Its powderiness is almost creamy, velvety. It reminds me a bit of the sensation that sandalwood brings to fragrances, this milky woody sensation. This perfume has of course bread inside, which is the reason it was chosen in this list. But it also has cypriol oil, which is said to smell woody, like a fusion of cedar, patchouli and vetiver, and earthy with a spicy undertone. And I can get all these qualities in this fragrance. With time, the harsher side of the woods gets smoother as the vanilla steps in, rounding and embracing the edges. I have no idea how this perfume has managed to achieve this. It, it feels edible and fresh at the same time, like enjoying a piece of homemade bread with butter during a spring picnic in the forest. Flowers have bloomed and you have brought with you this delicious bread made of the finest ingredients. The silage and longevity are outstanding. It lasts all day on my skin and I can get wafts of it till the next day of its application. So you definitely have to enjoy the uniqueness of this earthy edible blend before you wear it. Fior di Pan by Profumo di Firenze. Since our little bird friends were not so kind to leave those bread crumbles on the forest path and after Hansel and Gretel have wandered in the depths of the forest trying to find their way back home, they came upon a wonderful surprise. Was it a wonderful surprise though? Welcome to the witch's house. While there are many versions of the story, some version mentions a gingerbread house, another version mentions a candy house, the initial Grimm story mentions that the house was entirely built from bread, the roof made of cake, and its windows made of clear sugar. Inspired by the cake part of the house, I bring you Love and Crime by Ex Idolo. This is a delicious gourmand perfume that has managed to capture the sensation of a fluffy lemon or orange pound cake infused with vanilla extract and vanilla powder. 
Taking a look at the perfume notes, I was trying to understand where the cake sensation derives from. There are no pastry notes, there is no whipped cream, but this perfume really smells like like the most delicious cake drizzled with vanilla and lemon sugar glaze. This perfume has cocoa powder and heliotrope and I think that the combination of these two notes might result to this beautiful cake sensation. At the beginning, the citrus aspect is kind of harsh and very, very sweet. It has a powdered sugar sensation. But after a little while, this citric harshness subsides to unveil this super fluffy, edible, baked good aroma, which is absolutely delicious. You really want to eat yourself when you wear this fragrance. It's so very delicious and edible. It's like taking a whiff from the lemony, citrus, sugar glaze on top of a vanilla cake. It, that's what it smells like. Now, if you want to smell like this, don't forget to try this perfume. The longevity of this fragrance is really good. I can sense it on me the whole day. Its projection is kind of moderate. It's not too loud, but it's not a skin scent either. So it's somewhere in between in terms of projection. I really love Love and Crime by X Eve. For the sugar windows of the house, I bring you Jolie by Cerchi Nell'Acqua, which is an Italian niche house. This perfume is not very easy to find and therefore is not very talked about, but it's a masterful gourmand made with the finest ingredients. With the first whiff, I get something like powdered sugar syrup. A tooth achingly sweet blast of sugar. Not crystal sugar, powdered sugar. If you get away from a bag of powdered sugar, you will understand what I mean. At this point, the sweetness is almost sharp. Very soon, a whipped cream sensation steps in. The milk starts to show its face. Never too obvious, always in the background, giving this very nice creamy quality to this perfume. There is also caramelized sugar quality, which feels sticky and has this burnt sugar aspects, which makes things even more interesting. But this is only a stop before this fragrance reaches the lollipop, the hard candy land. I can only describe this face with colors. It feels like, like, rainbow explosions of sugar in my mind this face the fruits are also joining the party i can sense something like a cherry maybe blood orange a bit of peach and also lime because i get a very discreet balancing sourness in the background the above mentioned stage lasts on me for about seven hours without ever losing its intensity the powdered sugar sensation stays always alive and vibrant. It's a very well-made fragrance that must have concentrated oils because even the sprayer is a bit sticky. So if you like sticky sweetness, caramelized vanilla and candy notes, this perfume is definitely for you. Jolie by Cerchi Nell'Acqua, a magic potion of sugar. Next, Gourmand Delicacy and another fairy tale. Our host is the girl from the magic porridge pot. Do you remember the story? The little girl lived with her mother in a village in great poverty and had nothing to eat. One day she went for a walk in the forest and she met an aged woman who gave her a magic pot. When well, you said to the pot, cook little pot, it cooked a delicious porridge. And when you said, stop little pot, it stopped cooking. La Nael by Lost March is our next gourmand perfume. La Nael by Lost March really achieves to deliver this creamy cereal esthesis. You, you can literally get the wheat inside this fragrance embraced by a warm concentrated vanilla milk quality the milk is quite obvious but it's never too sour which is a plus this perfume has these beautiful brightening aspects the clementine and the bergamot which give it its fluffy airiness these aspects elevate the experience by adding this airy cake texture which makes it so delicious the image I get is that of a cake raising in the oven. If you open the oven door right at that time, you will get this baked sugary feel. That's the cake 
texture and the cake quality I get from this fragrance. At the same time, there's a beautiful greenness, which gives it a very interesting twist. I imagine myself being in a meadow, sitting on a colorful tablecloth, and enjoying milky sweets and tea and all beautiful things. It can be perfectly worn in the summer exactly because of its citric green traits which make it dainty and delicious. Its longevity is not huge, it's a very subtle scent but I can detect it on my skin for around five hours and then it becomes a light perfume, always detectable. I like it so much, I wouldn't mind not telling the pot to stop cooking. Apparently that's what happened with the little girl's mother who forgot the words to make the pot stop cooking and thus she managed to feed the whole village. So this was Lanael, I lost March. My next favorite baked goods and sugary perfume is hosted by Red Riding Hood and her basket of delicious apples. La Danza delle Libellule by Nobile 1942 with its beautiful bottle. And this is the second bottle I'm using and it's almost finished. This is a sweet and delicious perfume that delivers the note of baked so you are not only getting the crispness, the fresh crispness of an apple, but also really interesting baked pastry quality, like sweet dough that is warming up in the oven. It has this, this literal cookie crust sugared quality that is unsurpassed. It's like entering the kitchen while a very delicious apple pie is being baked. Combined with the apple freshness, it gets beautifully balanced and airy, so the edible gourmand aspects are never suffocating. On the contrary, it feels uplifting, fluffy, airy and weightless and very tender. For these reasons, this perfume can also be perfectly worn during the warmer months. Its longevity is quite nice. It lasts for about six hours on my skin, but its projection is even better because I always get compliments and comments of how good I smell whenever I have this on. And I'm definitely getting another bottle when this finishes. It's one of my favorite Gourmand perfumes. More of the basket of apples, it represents the apple pie Red Riding Hood made with her granny after the and they lived happily ever after part of the story. That poor wolf, well, not a very good ending for him. Those fairy tales can be pretty brutal, especially in their early forms. My next favorite baked goods, Gourmand, has a peculiar extravagant host, the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland, and he offers us some delicious cookies with Accident à la Vanille Madeleine de Proust by Giuseppe Parfum. You have to truly love gourmands and want to smell like a sweet snack to enjoy this perfume because this here is the ultimate edible sweet butter cookie perfume. To begin with, this perfume has managed to capture the cookie sensation, the baked sweet cookie quality, which is not an easy trait to achieve perfume wise. I get a freshly baked sweet doughy feel brightened up by a delicious sparkly glowing apricot sensation. I can get the non-sweet crusty part of a biscuit combined with butter, vanilla and fruits. I imagine this wonderful tea party with uh, all sorts of teas, sweets, cakes and cones, cookies and everything delicious and tea party like. Of course the name of the fragrance, it's called Madeleine de Proust inspired by the books The Search of Lost Time by Marcel Proust. It gives us a notion of the yumminess and delicious of this fragrance, making us think of that fluffy, airy, sweet French treat, the cookie madeleine. So if you want to smell like a cookie and madeleine or in general a baked uh, treat, then you definitely have to try this masterful creation by Jusset Parfum, which is a house that makes wonderful gourmand perfumes. The longevity and silage are quite impressive. Once it reaches its baked goods quality and aroma, it stays like this for hours and people around you will get beautiful wafts of it during the day. So please go and try Accident à la Vanille Madeleine de Proust by Jusset Parfum. Our host Cinderella will bring us her carriage before it was even a carriage. 
in fragrance form with Like This by Etalip Torange or Eldo combined with Kayali's Vanilla 28. This combination is perfect if you want to sweeten the non-sweet aspects of Like This by Eldo with its immortel dryness and its herbal feeling and accentuate the pulpy and baked sweets quality and aesthetic of the pumpkin because this perfume, as you know, has pumpkin inside. Like This gives me a spice used in the kitchen vibe and it also brings me an olive oil feel which reminds me more of cooking than baking. Vanilla 28 with its brown sugar aspects embraces all the non-sweet elements of Like This by Eldo, giving it sweet pumpkin pie vibes and a cottagecore baking aesthetic which I absolutely adore. If you have these two, try this combination and let me know what you think. So this was our pumpkin combination for the carriage of Cinderella. An honorable mention here after Peter Rabbit's request to Encore by Theo Cabanel. I only have a sample. This is another beautiful and unique fragrance by this beloved house of mine, Theo Cabanel, which manages to deliver a non-sweet carrot cake sensation. It has vanilla, it has carrot seeds, it has buttery iris, sandalwood, and all these result to this beautiful carrot cake sensation and I intend to buy a full bottle very soon. So this was an honorable mention to Encore by Theo Cabanel. I hope you enjoyed this fairy tale gourmand journey through my baked goods gourmand fragrances. I want to thank all my fairy tale hosts for their help in this journey. I hope to see you again in my next video. I am sending you a delicious fairy tale hug and a happy ever after kiss.